All right, here we're going to demo how to bleach back a cyanotype print that's a little dark. You can um, always make them a little lighter, but it's pretty hard to make them darker, so just keep that in mind when you're exposing them. So what I'm going to do is take a little pinch of baking soda and put in this graduate, and then I'm going to mix it with warm water. And it's very important that this is fully mixed. It's a good idea to get the print you're going to bleach back wet first. So we have that in the wash tray. And I'm going to move it into a dry 11 by 14 tray. And maybe the neatest thing about doing this is that it's possible to do local bleaching by um, pouring the um, solution over the print just right. So what I'm going to do here is get the whole thing kind of wet, let all the um, solution go to one end, and then I'm going to use what's left in the beaker to do some um, local bleaching with a little stream of the solution. How fast this goes depends on how much baking soda you use. This is a relatively uh, minor bleach job. It's starting to look pretty good. I'm going to pull it out. Now it's time to just rinse it out for about a minute and hang it up to dry. And that's all there is to bleaching back a cyanotype print. All right, now I'm going to demo teetoning. What I did here was put four bags of tea in this hot pot and then took it pretty much to the boiling point. Uh, this isn't tea that you'd ever want to drink. It needs to be very strong to have any effect on the cyanotypes. It does help for the tea to be warm. It goes a little faster. Alright, we'll just get those out of there and pour our tea into the tray. Alright, so here's the first print that I will tone. It's nicely submerged. If it's just in here for a few seconds, it mostly tints the paper base and doesn't affect the image color much. But already here I can see that the image color is getting a little warmer. If you leave it in here for like an hour, it'll turn almost to a neutral gray. It's a good idea to rinse these off um, after they tone. Just because the tea is very acidic and it's going to affect the archivability of the image. Here's an untoned print, and you can see how the uh, toned one is quite a bit warmer. Your print will end up being a little bit darker than it was when you started. have a print that's been recently bleached and you thought you made a, might have bleached it too far, it'll redevelop a little bit in the uh, tea toning process. Alright, these get hung up to dry again. And that's about all there is to teetoning.